Yeah, well, yes, yeah, so just a little snippet of that, of course, is the man that I'm going to be interviewing you today that is uh, through Zoom. It is a Namibian musician. It is all the way from Cologne, Germany. How's it going, Is? I'm good in yourself. I hope you can hear me. I ah, know I can hear you. It's proper. The connection is 100. Hey. Yeah, hey. yes. We have got... <laughs> ...with the plans for the year 2024. We're in February, a little bit late, but there's still 11 more months to go. How is it going so far? Um, it's good. I'm, I'm stuck in traffic. Because, you know, in, in Germany, there's, I think, 80 million people, but there's 40 million cars. Yes. So this sir. place is just... Full of cars. <laughs> um, no, I'm, you know me. I'm, I'm always busy, man. Always busy coming up with new things. If you stay in the industry for so long, yeah. you have to love it because if you don't love it, then it's gonna break you down eventually. So I love what I'm doing. Every day, waking up, there's a new idea, new concept, new this, and the music industry is changing very hectically. You know. So True. back in the days, we used to do one album, and we are, we were good for the year. Now you have to drop a new song every month at least, you know, so <laughs> it's how it is, but ready for action. So does that mean you saying you have to drop a song every month? Does that mean we're expecting a flavor every month, a different flavor from <laughs> East every month? You know what? So uh. yesterday I, I, started, I started my challenge. Yesterday my challenge was now to drop a video every single day. So from now on till the end of the year, there will be one new video, not a music video. Uh -huh. Music videos will be in between, but a new video every single day. I started yesterday. So yeah, uh, press those thumbs for me that I can make it. I uh, know. <laughs> Absolutely excited. But we also want to know, you're of course now in Germany, but you are a Namibian German. So how did, is the Chukata, uh that is to the German audience as well as to the Namibian audience with your sound? So, yeah, uh, the thing is, I've always just done what I feel like is right for me. So I don't watch and what, what is going on in the trends. I don't, I don't care about the top 10. I just do what I like, you know. Um, and I think that I... I catch a Namibian, a lot of Namibians catch the vibe because it's, it's all about NAM flavor. It's putting those okay with many yeah, tribes, okay. those many cultures together. And then in Germany, people like it because it's something different that they have not heard before. So they, 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 they are looking for something new. And that basically, yeah, that's how it works. Have fun what, doing what you want to do. Just have fun. Then people will see it and they'll catch on to it. No, absolutely excited for that. But obviously also trying to find out, is there any events that are that side that you're also just going to try and come through and perform, you know, to give that numb flavor? There is uh, one of the biggest uh, reggae festivals in Europe uh, happening. It's called the Summer Jam. I am in talks with them to be performing there. Um, so, but yeah, it's, uh, it's still early in the year. So let's see. <laughs> let's see what happens, man. <laughs> no, no, pretty much excited. That is, of course, to find out if something is happening. But are there producers that are that side that you're working with? Is it any different from the producers that are here from back home? Uh, definitely, definitely. So um, I work with a lot of Namibian producers via the internet, but I also work with a lot of German producers. Um, when it comes to the final sound and the, the technique of, of mastering a song, I must say that the Germans are very technical, okay. <laughs> um, but what they, are, what they are lacking is that certain rhythm, that, that how you say the rhythm in the blood, where I always have to tell them, no, 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 your beats are like one zero, one zero. They need to be more flowing. So it's, uh, yeah, it's the good and the bad. All, every, every country has their challenges. So I think that Namibian producers can get a little bit more technical and better with the sound. Uh, and I, I hope that the German producers, they get more rhythm, man, <laughs> because it's always a struggle. Nah, the, basically it's just an exchange of, you know, the things where we lack here is just yeah. an exchange of those two. Uh, but obviously you did say that you had challenged yourself, that is to be releasing a video every day type of situation. But are you also challenging yourself to release that is an album this year? Um, yes, definitely. There's an album coming, 100%. Um, uh, it will be my my 16th album because I dropped my 15th album. I dropped that uh, last year. It's called Good Vibes Only. I had a tour through the whole of Germany uh, with my band from Berlin, Hamburg, Munich, Stuttgart, Frankfurt, uh, performing. Uh, it was a great experience, definitely. Um, yeah, there's going to be a new album. 
But yeah, guys, just enjoy the old albums. Because the thing is, I can drop the album today, and you will ask me about my next album. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Pre pretty excited. I'm, I'm joking, man. Any collaborations yeah. with the Namibian artist here? Um, um, actually, I've spoken to Tesh Lavo because uh -huh. he's also based in Germany. Um, he's a bit far away, but uh, last year on my album tour, I actually had him to come in um, as a um, featuring artist to perform just before my show. And then we spoke and we said, we are both in Germany. We need to do something here. So that could be coming up. Um, other than that, I'm a little bit hesitant because I've been featuring almost every artist in Namibia from who I think is a serious artist, but I have not received any featuring invitations back. So, which saddens me a little bit because I'm pushing and pushing and then, yeah. You also want to have a, you know, if you invite someone to your house, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. always you inviting them, but they never invite you back. So you're like, come on, man, just invite me back one time and I can invite you back a hundred times again. So that's why I'm a little bit laid back and waiting on Namibian artists also to come and approach me for a featuring. So, because I'm, I'm not on the moon. You can reach me. I'm, I mean, you guys can reach me. So, <laughs> I'm, and I'm very thankful for that. I'm very thankful that uh, you guys always keep in touch. Um, you don't know what it means to me as a Namibian being so far away from home. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you. I mean, the love at the end of the day, it is international. So obviously, we're always going to come through. But just to end off, that is, of course, the interview for today. Any final words that you do have for your fans or also just give us when exactly you might be coming back, that is, to the land of the brain. Shoo! I'm telling you, uh, Namibia is very popular now with the tourists. So I've, I've checked the flights and the prices are going up. So <laughs> I'm not sure. They're taking away my flights to go back home. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. I think around about mid of the year, I'll be coming home, definitely. Uh, I need to come home once or twice a year just to fill my suitcase full of that damn flavor energy so that I can unpack it this side and spread it with the people this side. So, yeah, you will see me. Uh, you, you can take me out of Namibia, but not Namibia out of me. So, yeah. Yeah, boy, well, yes. Uh, thank you so much. That is, of course, for coming through. Is Hopefully, you get home safe or whatever it is that you are driving to. But with that being said, we're going to be diving into the sounds or the music video that is, of course, of Ease with Ayo. When the sky got blue 